One important aspect that you need to pay attention to before, during, and after the, the building of your guitar is the relative humidity in your shop. Uh, where you store your materials, where the guitar lives while it's being built, and where it lives after it's being built will determine even the playability and the sound of this guitar. So it's very important that you control this. For example, I'm in my shop and behind me you'll see a piece of glass. Behind that piece of glass I've got a climate controlled room. I have a humidifier and a dehumidifier in that room and you'll see I store guitars in that room. Those are finished guitars. In my shop, outside of that room, in Colorado where I live, I run about a constant 35% year round in my shop. There's not a drastic change. Sometimes in the winter there's a little bit of change to drop a little bit down to, down to 30. Now, some people say that's a little bit dry. Now, I like to store my lumber on the dry side. I keep it in the shop, store it in a nice dry uh, area before I build. Then as I build, I build it in my shop, and depending on where the guitar is going, I'll put it in that climate controlled room. If it's going to stay in Colorado, I just leave it in the shop. It's not necessary to put it in the climate controlled room. If it's going to somewhere where there's a high relative humidity, then I'll bump up the humidity in the shop and in that room. So I'll, I'll leave it in the room there, and that way when the guitar goes and lives at the final destination, it's already climated to that environment. And this is very important. For example, once when I was living in Brazil, and there it's 80 to 100% humidity all the time. I had uh, stored my wood uh, just in the, in, the, in the shop, and when I started working out, I joined the back. I then put it in a climate-controlled room, that I, and there I used to bump it down to 50% relative humidity. Well, the, the center line opened up and cracked because it dried out. That's what can happen to your guitar. You'll start to lose the dome in the top of the back of the guitar, which lowers the bridge, which lowers the strings, lowers the action. Your guitar will not be playable if it doesn't live in an environment that it was built at. As a builder, you need to think about this constantly during your build. If there's drastic swings in the relative humidity in your shop, then you need to control that. You need to think about where the guitar is going to live at its final destination. Now, if I'm building for the Colorado market, my shop, without any controlling devices, is a constant 35%. Industry standard is somewhere probably between 40 and 50 percent. That's what most factories and most builders uh, build out. Now, a guitar will take on relative humidity a lot better than it will lose relative humidity. If it takes it on, it just kind of swells, and the guitar can do that a lot better than if it starts to dry out. If it starts to dry out, you've got structural issues, cracking issues, finish issues. It can really be a bad deal. And I had a friend once that that happened to. So be careful. Control the environment you're working in. Uh, if your guitar is going to live at 40%, then you know probably 30 to 40% you're okay to build that. So think about that. Control the environment. If you want to make yourself a little room like this, get yourself a small like little bedroom or one room humidifier, put it in there, control it. Now, really control it. Don't pump too much relative humidity into it. Don't store the wood or the material right over the machine pumping the humidity up. That's a bad thing. You'll get too much into it. So maintain the relative humidity in your shop throughout the build.